Hi all, it's Emily Rand with ESPN Esports, and I am joined by Team Liquid head coach Jat. After unfor- unfortunately, um, you guys did not make it out of uh, Group A at Worlds. Um, let's start with what has Team Liquid's Worlds experience overall been like? I mean, it's been a bit of a roller coaster, uh, and the fir- the final like climb and drop happened right at the end and was kind of out of our control. So, uh, I'd say. I'd say it was really, really hard overall. I'd say, uh, you know, a lot of the stuff from the fan perspective ends up being completely overlooked, like uh, traveling internationally to China during 2020 uh, with all the COVID stress, quarantining for 14 days, getting moved into, you know, the event hotel, um, even... And then, you know, adding that to just an, another world championship where like, I'm not going to get into any of the logistical issues, but it's like, it's never smooth. Mm-hmm. Um, there's a lot of stress for like everyone. And then to kind of start the way we did. And then to like, to really rally after our O2 start, go three and one, beat G2, beat Sooning, beat Machi, kind of prove that we can beat any team if we play well but also knowing that we can lose to any team and going three, three again and not getting through. Like that's just, it's, I I wasn't here with team liquid in 2018 or 2019. uh, But it's kind of like a TL curse at this point, they go three and three in groups and they don't even get a tiebreaker. That's happened three years in a row. Uh, That's really crazy. And it just kind of (laughs) sucks right now because it's, you know, 10 minutes after the game. Yeah, um, I am going to start with the initial rally because I was actually really impressed with not only like the mental fortitude it takes, right, to come back from the disappointing start that you did have, but also the way you guys changed. You changed up your level ones. Like after after that one Sunin game, your level ones have been, you know, really well thought out and really well planned. You, ch- you switched up drafts. So What was the conversation and prep like in between to make that kind of recovery? Yeah. uh, So whenever you're prepping and whenever you're trying to go in, you're always trying to figure out your, your best chance of winning. Right. Mm -hmm. And for almost all teams that usually ends up being a little bit different. So for, the entire summer split, we had a really clear identity. Uh, and for the most part, we were able to stick to that identity and find success in the play-in stage. So when we brought that identity to group stage, we just kind of got punched in the face for mm-hmm. the first two games. And you just realize that it's not going to work. Now, to me, to just like guess that our best that we've been winning with all year just like isn't going to work... Uh, before we've even played would be actually just like not very smart. But Mm -hmm. once we knew that it didn't work, um, we said, okay, let's not keep running it back. We just like, we must change. Even if we don't have uh, a high level of practice, even if like, believe me, this isn't the first time team liquid tried to play fast. Um, People don't see scrims. Mm -hmm. Um, We tried it many, many, many times throughout summer split and always, when we figured out uh, like what was going to happen on stage, we figured out what the best chance of us winning was going to be. And we went with that. Um, But because it was so solid that what our previous best had been, wasn't going to be good enough. We, we, we really fully committed harder than we ever had before. Everyone bought in, screw it. It doesn't matter if we int. And like, I, I think there's definitely a little bit of luck in either of these senses. Like even if we had more luck playing some of our traditional comps and our level ones had gone better and the opponent level ones didn't go so well. There's like, there's probably a world where those work. Right. And it's all still really fresh. And I'm going to think about this for months and it's going to, you know, impact the future so much. Uh, But yeah, the, the transformation happened because we had no other choice and, you know, luckily it worked and unluckily it didn't work well enough. I mean, I honestly, like, I was really impressed, especially after talking to uh, Broxa before you guys came and he was like, yeah, you know, we've, we have figured our identity. And just like you said, we've, we've tried this in scrims. It hasn't worked for us. Um, And the fact that you were able to do it in on such short notice was honestly really impressive. 
Yeah, um, I'm really impressed with the team for being able to do that. Like, really, really proud of them. I think they should be proud. It's just none of us are going to feel proud for a while because we yeah. didn't make it out of groups and that's what everyone wanted. So I do want to ask um, two, two more things, basically. One, what, like, in, on, obviously, it's 10 minutes after you just got eliminated from Worlds. So this is, there's a lot. Uh, reflecting on your first year of coaching, how, how was it? Uh, I, I'm not going to be able to give a full reflection right now, Emily. It was, <laughs> it was, know. it was really stressful and it's, it, it is still just kind of ridiculous that team liquid just ended up three and three again in the group stage. Like everything that happened from last year to now finishing ninth, not having double if me becoming coach. And it's, it's the same. It's three and three. It's, uh, it's, it's kind of awful right now, but maybe it'll be funny in the future. Um, I'm laughing only because I don't know another reaction. Uh, yeah, me the, either, like, right? like, I'm not laughing at you. <laughs> I'm yeah, just I like, I, I, I honestly don't know what to say. Um, the, the other thing that I did want to ask you about, because again, you've gone through, uh, you've been part of North America since the very beginning as a player, as a caster, as part of the balance team now as uh, coaching staff and, there's a lot of overreaction to North America and best of ones. It happens every single year. Uh, at, you know, there were people being like, what is wrong with NA immediately after the Machi loss? Mm -hmm. I did want to ask, cause I don't think, I don't think that's necessarily a fair reaction either. It's obviously a multifaceted thing, but after yeah. having been a coach for a year, what are some of the biggest challenges that are facing North American teams when they travel to international tournaments? Yeah, I mean, this will probably be an annoying answer because the like the little bits uh, I've looked at, the, some of the people are just mad enough that they just don't have logic in this discussion. But uh, it's true. literally, yeah. Um, so, ping, solo mm -hmm. queue, uh, competitive, like the, the the population of the server, um, and you know, not being able to cross regionally scrim, which Korea and LPL can do, all contribute. Um, but if you want to be able to try and win, you need to be able to over excel in something. And that's what NA tries to do every single year. Uh, I, I just want to say, I kind of know how the history works in these cases. And people are going to look back on this year and say, oh, yeah, TL didn't make it a group stage again. But uh, like right now, I have some pretty strong words for those people um, because it just, it just like overlooks the effort and, and the good that happened. And like, this is this is a really hard year. We had a really bad start. We went three and three. Um, there are other years where that actually just gets you through groups. Um, mm -hmm. And the fact that like that check mark is what defines whether or not your whole region is shit or you're like suddenly a top. It's just ridiculous. Mm -hmm. um, so I think Thank you. we are closer than people <laughs> think. Um, but obviously we want to be better. So mm -hmm. that's what we're going to try and do. And that's what we try to do today. Thank you so much for saying that. <laughs> the Twitter discourse has been interesting. Um, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to me today, especially after having been eliminated. And all the best to you in the future. It's always great to catch up. And I'm very sorry it couldn't be under better circumstances. All right. Thanks. And for more League of Legends coverage at Worlds, keep it here on ESPN Esports.